We won't be using a database for a little while, but we may as well install it now just to get it out of the way. And the database we're going to use is Postgres. And Postgres is far and away my favorite open source database. And it runs on pretty much any operating system. So to install it, just go to postgresql.org. And I have a link to this in the course resources for this lecture. And click on the download button. And depending on what operating system you're using, you're probably going to want to do something different. So if you're on Windows, for example, we can click on Windows. And there are a bunch of installers. And you just click on Download the Installer. And the one that you want will be either probably this one if you're on a recent computer. If you're on a really old computer, you might have to go with this version. And that's fine. It will suffice for our purposes. But a word of caution. When you install this, it's going to ask you to install the database. You want that for sure. But it's also going to ask you if you want to install the database client. And the database client for this, it's never worked for me. It always slows my system to an absolute crawl. What it does is run a process in the background, and you connect to your database using a web browser. I would skip that if I were you. And instead, I'll show you a client you can download in just a moment. But this is if you're on Windows. So let's go back. And if you're on Mac, Far and away, the easiest way to install this is to scroll down past this and look at postgres.app and click on this link. And this is a standalone application. And when you double click on it to start it, your database is running. When you quit it, your database is not running anymore. And it's really, really simple. You can also use Homebrew or Mac ports or Fink. Or if you like Docker, of course, on pretty much any operating system, you can run your Postgres application as a Docker installation. And I'm not going to go through that because this is not a course in Docker. But in any case, get it installed. Now on Windows, when you run the installer, it's probably going to ask you for a password. Don't lose that password. You will need it to connect to the database later on. OK? Now in terms of a database client, you have a couple of options. The one that uh, will work on any operating system is this one. It's called dBeaver. And it's got a bit of a clunky interface, but it does work really well. And it, it will connect to pretty much any database you want. So you might want to download and install that. Now, if you're on a Mac, you have another option. And this is the one that I use and the one I'll probably use in this course. It's called Postico. Now, it is a commercial package. But if you scroll all the way down to the frequently asked questions, you do have a free trial. And it has no time limit. And it only has a few limitations. And those limitations are really not going to impact us in this course, because we can do everything we need with Postico. And Postico is a really simple and really well thought out piece of software. And if you like it, I encourage you to buy it. I certainly did. And it's not that expensive.